Hey everyone, this is Scott Wagenkiewicz. I want to walk you through something uh, that I did on my site. Um, I w my Smug Mug membership was uh, up for renewal, and since they raised their prices, I decided to um, to actually cancel my Smug Mug membership uh, because, as you might know, I work for Photocrotty, who makes the WordPress theme that I use on my site, and they also acquired the Next Gen Gallery plugin, and currently we're in the process of building uh, a premium version of the free next-gen gallery plugin. And what it's going to do is it's going to have a lot of uh, cool e-commerce features, proofing features, more uh, gallery styles and slideshows styles and things like that. A lot of really fun stuff coming in the works. Um, and until then, I needed a proofing solution. So I want to walk you through what I did. Now, what I did is actually something that um, anyone can do with next-gen gallery. But I did a lot of um, more advanced things as well to make it suit me how I needed it right away. Um, first thing I needed was something that was not searchable by uh, search engines. So what you're seeing would not show up in search engines. I specifically um, created it so that it won't. However, if you were to do this um, without doing what I did, it would show up in search engines. But I want to walk you through uh, real quick what I did. So the first thing I did was I created custom post types. This is uh, something that WordPress offers that it's sort of like posts, but it's specific to something. So you can see I actually have one for my uh, iPhone shots. For all, all, all my iPhone shots go in here. It's separate from blog articles, but um, they still look like articles on the front end. Um, and then I also just created one called proofing. So I have one called proofing here. You can see I have three currently, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, I have four currently, and three of them are password protected. So um, the actual clients I have, I leave up for about a month, and then I take them down. Um, so they're not taking up space on my server. Uh, but those are password protected, and I'll show you what it looks like um, uh, when, when we're all done. I'll show you what it looks like to see a password protected version. But for now, I'm going to show you the proofing example. This is live on the web. So if you go to my website, go to scottwyan.com slash proofing slash example, you'll actually see this page live. Okay. So what I did is I built a custom post type called proofing. And then I built a custom post type page template for my, uh, for my theme. And in it is a um, uh, place to put the content, and I'll show you what that looks like. And then below it, I have my uh, form on every single one. So this form shows up on every proofing page at the bottom. An easy way for clients to contact me or submit the photos they want, things like that. Now, uh, as I mentioned, Next Gen Gallery, we are building in a, uh, a, a way for you to do proofing. And this is going to be a real legitimate way for you to do proofing with download option and send to photographer option. For my purposes, because it's not ready yet, um, I am just using a download option. And how I did it was using NextGen Gallery and the NextGen uh, Next Download Gallery, which is a third-party development uh, plugin, meaning another person, another company, uh, develops this plugin as an add-on to NextGen Gallery. And what it does is it gives you the ability to check off photos you want to download. And when you select the photos and hit Download Selected Images, it compiles all those photos into a zip file and downloads it to the person's computer. So basically what I'm providing my clients to be able to do is two things. One, they can either, they, one, they can download all the photos they want, and two, they can download the ones that they want to send to me and send me the zip file, or they can copy the file names, which are right under it, and put it into the message box here and send those off to me. So there's two ways for the client to do the proofing. Um, and both have, have served effective so far. Um, and uh, like I said, when NextGen Gallery, uh, the premium version, the pro version is available, it'll be even easier for, for everyone to do this. However, in the meantime, this is what I'm doing. So again, I have a custom post type that keeps my proofs separate from my main stuff. Then I have a, a custom pa uh, post type page template, which I'm using. And then next gen gallery with this added download gallery plugin. So I'm going to show you what it looks like um, 
in the back end of the edit post um, section of this. So you can see that I have uh, the text that's at the top, my little description, and then the short code that picks the gallery that I'm using for Next Gen Gallery. So uh, the short code, the default short code is right here that just does the gallery. And then with that download gallery uh, plugin added, I have a template a next gen gallery template called download. So I specified that it's going to be the download template. So that's given me the ability to add in those uh, download uh, selectors that you see here and this, this button here. If I remove the template, you would just see the gallery on its own. And that's it. So um, it's very simple for people to do um, if you wanted to add this to your own site. All you have to do is install next gen gallery install the next-gen download gallery add-on, and then wherever your short code is, put the template for download. Now, as I mentioned, I do have some that are password protected. So to give you an idea, here is a, a I just did a, um, a shoot um, documenting a high school reunion, a 40th reunion. Oh. Now, to give you an idea of what it looks like uh, in a password protected ga uh, proofing gallery, I'm going to open up this Union High School um, 40th reunion gallery. And you see here that it's actually password protected. You can't see the gallery. Um, there's no way for it to, um, for people to access it because I'm using the built in WordPress um, password protection. So I'll show, you, I'll show you how to do that as well. So let's go back to here. Now I'm going to go into back to the proving example. So let's say I wanted to password protect this. <clears throat> you can see I have the publish date. You can see that it's published. And then you can see visibility is public. So I'm going to take that and say password protected. And I can say example password. So if I was to save this, the um, live gallery here would now require a password to view. So it's as simple as that. Um, so that's how I am using the NextGen Gallery um, plugin. Again, that add on the NextGen Download Gallery plugin, and then I did some more advanced things with with custom uh, custom post types and custom page templates in WordPress um, in order to do what I needed to do. But again, you can do this easily on any poster page using these two plugins. And there is a very simple proofing solution using NextGen Gallery. And keep in mind, as I mentioned, that a pro version is coming out with a really easy method for you to do this without having to install multiple plugins. It'll just work and give you um, a download and send to photographer option, including e-commerce and, and a whole bunch of other great stuff. So stay tuned for that. But I hope you enjoyed how I did it. And if you wind up implementing this on your site, please comment with a link so I can uh, see what you did. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions, also comment with those. Thanks for watching.